Here's a chakra for you folks. Walter's finally getting around to continuing the bench grinder project. Probably going to be several parts, several more parts to this bench grinder series. And I hope you choose to follow, follow along as I complete my bench grinder. Well, this grinder stand up was too heavy to carry, but since I made it out of an old motor car wheel, it'll roll if I lean it. We're going to roll as close as we can to the basement steps and then wrestle this thing down there. Uh, I get ready to paint it and probably paint it down there, probably never come back out of that basement. Well, I like the rust on it anyway. We might not never get around to painting it. Might require a bit of fancy rolling, but I think we can do it without picking it up. Worst come to worst, we just let it fall to the to the bottom of the steps. Oh, that's working good. Day was I just manhandled this thing to the basement. That's why my air compressor is still in the basement. I ain't figured how to manhandle it out of here. Well, I've got my stand in the basement. When I made this metal bracket, I did it on a tailgate of my railroad truck one day out there in the driveway and didn't have the drill, so I just burned them holes in there with a torch and tack welded these two pieces of scrap iron on there but it worked quite sufficient. Didn't do a whole lot of prepping or anything else. But we're going to tinker with this board here. See about getting this grinder attached. The grinder we're attaching today. I've showed videos of it before. Pretty dang powerful little motor though. I'm not even going to try to read that without my glasses. All right, I did some measuring here. It looks like the, the two holes that hold the grinder down are seven inches apart. So let's attach this thing. See how wide it is. Hey, let's go in the four inches. Find the center. Funny, it's your eyes be playing tricks on you. I'm going to make them both exactly the same. Oh, you want to center that square, but the thing must not be cut square. I'm smart enough to see that wasn't a straight line. Yeah, that board wasn't cut square. But just close enough for railroad work. Said seven inches. Still, I ain't found my screws. We might not have any bike screws that size. We're gonna find out though. I don't know where to drill my holes. There and there. I left a big excess piece of wood here. Hopefully, I can put a can of water there when we cool something off when I'm grinding. It. Let's get our drill bits out. Alright my friends, it's just magic of time and video editing. We rounded up some drill bits. I'm going to go ahead and drill my pilot holes. Should center punch that, but what the heck. I really want to drill a hole in the workbench. I'm going to go ahead and get my holes drilled. I found enough bolts by 
scrounging through all my drawers. They might not be quite the ones I needed, but I believe they'll get the job done. Seven inches. I think that's what I said. Good Lord Almighty, that ain't seven inches. Good thing I double checked that. We got to do better now. Close enough for railroad work. Four more holes. We need four holes right here to bolt it to the stand. And we'll be in business. I use Gmail. <coughs> All my mail from my the other email accounts is forwarded to, to, to my Gmail. All my YouTube mail comes into Gmail. Well, here lately, it didn't seem like I was getting all my mail, but I still answer people's comments through the section on YouTube where you can answer them. But all of a sudden, Gmail is working again. I'm getting emails from people that made comments of two weeks ago somehow they're trying to get caught up even though I've already answered the people's comments hopefully when I get caught up it'll stay caught up we're just about ready to bolt this thing to the stand <laughs> 